Hello guys, welcome back. I look very different. The bangs, the makeup technique, everything is very different from my usual way of how I present myself. If you want to see me turn into Sabrina Carpenter, the Asian version, and trying out the Barbie Effect makeup using only drugstore products, continue watching. We got the bangs on. If you're new here, these are not real. I've had them for quite a long time. I also have another pair that's just a bit lighter and I like those a little more if you're going for more of a curtain bang look and I wanted more fullness here and just more hair towards my forehead. That one is a bit lighter. I recommend that one more because they have more shades. So I'll have that link down below. I don't know why I'm blinking on the brand name, but I've talked about this brand before, maybe a year or so ago. I've bought like wigs from them. They have really great quality wigs. So if you want to try out curtain bangs or just bangs in general, I highly recommend them. But these are not real. Although it's so much fun, I have contemplated bangs, like short bangs. I've done curtain bangs a number of times, but shorter bangs, for years, maybe three to four years. I'm still wanting to do it. I think I'm wanting to do shorter hair first, then bangs. We'll see what I end up deciding uh, later this year. I know this is a makeup tutorial, but Sabrina Carpenter's hair is iconic. To me, her hair is what stands out. I love her hair so much. It's just so full. It's so playful. I even did my hair like her as far as like having curls go inward. Usually I don't go for that. I'm just not used to having so much hair framing my face but it looks absolutely amazing on her. So let's just get going into the makeup. I think some key elements to Sabrina's look as far as makeup is bright pink blush, very close, like right under the eyes, a bright under eye, whether you're using like a brightening powder, whether you're using like a light pink, you're just going for a lighter concealer than what you would usually go for. Darker brows compared to her hair since it's quite lighter. And then a darker lip liner versus the center of the lips. That's something that really stands out. Those to me are what really stand out for her. She also does mascara and creates a very like doll-like look with her eyes. So mascara on the lower lashes. She does some sort of white liner or maybe some sort of like cream tone color. I'm gonna go more of a cream or a very light beige just because white looks so stark on me and it looks quite fake. And even when that look was in back when I was in high school, I never liked that look personally on me. This is currently my favorite drugstore primer. It's the e.l.f. Putty one with niacinamide and also it's pink. It just seems appropriate. Do you know what's nice with these bangs is I don't really have to apply too much makeup on my forehead. And my problem areas has been my forehead. So I'm looking forward to not even having to really touch it at all. What's the point of putting primer on the forehead if no one's gonna even see your forehead? <laughs> Her skin is very luminous and not heavy. So I'm gonna go in with something that either is light to light medium coverage. This is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour skin tint. Her latest album, her holiday one, has been stuck in my head. I know the holidays are over, but I'm still listening to the album. I would love to know, and I'm a newer fan, like very new. I would love to know your favorite song from hers, especially her earlier albums. Like I've been watching videos of her, kind of just her backstory and that she's had many albums, which is really cool to see. Like she's been doing this for quite some time. And I was watching this video how they were talking about Sabrina is a slow burner, meaning she didn't gain this fame. Like all of a sudden it just happened in a day. It's been just slowly happening for her. Like, And I could definitely relate to that. I feel like a lot of us can because for the most part, whatever we do in life, are we the best ones at it? The first ones to blow up or be the most successful? No, I think it's actually more common to be a slow burner. There's something really special about being a slow burner because it also helps with their patience. It's more rewarding because it's been a slow progress and you've gotten to appreciate all of the moments. We're gonna keep it quite minimal since the bangs are gonna cover up everything else. Just apply a little bit more in these two areas. Instead of going in with concealer next, which is what I usually do, we're gonna do a little bit of underpainting. So I'm gonna go in with blush first because I think it's going to blend out a little bit better, especially since this shade of pink is not what I typically go for. And if you've been to my channel for a minute, you kind of notice that I don't really wear pink specifically this bubble gummy pink or even a cooler tone pink. I do it here and there, but it's not my everyday look. But I think for that brightening effect under the eyes and like that 
pop of pink on the blush, we're gonna go in with blush first. So this is new. This is the e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush in Pinky Promise. This is so pigmented. The first time I put this on, I just put it on bare skin because I was really excited. It was late at night and I just wanted to see what it looked like on my skin. And I look so ridiculous. It was so bright and just like, everywhere like right here oh my gosh what did i do i wish i took a picture so i could show you guys because you would definitely laugh at me but it was so funny so keeping the blush closer to the under eyes bringing it up and we'll also be going in with a powder blush too so far i like elf's new blushes i got a couple more shades that are more up my alley i just need to pick them up from my mailbox i think they've been like sitting there for a week so i'm definitely going to get them this week there's some new products i'll be trying out in this video that i don't have an opinion on so kind of just keep in mind and one of them so happens to be this concealer it's not new in the market but it's just new to me it's the ulta beauty collection it's the youthful glow concealer in light medium uh, let's see if this is going to be bright enough i'm going to do a little bit of a nose contour but instead i'm going to use powder changing up a bit this is the physician's formula butter bronzer contour palette just a slight one this might be the first time because i always use this brush from elf it might be the first time i'm using powder with it and then we're going to just a little bit right here keeping the base luminous so going in with some bronzer this one is from physician's formula and this one i'm going up higher since you're not gonna really see it on me i'm just gonna keep it right up here a light pink setting powder has been really popular under the eyes i don't think i've really done it on my channel because i just didn't think it was gonna look really good on me but i decided you know what i'm gonna buy one and this whole video is all drugstore so i was like thinking like what is a drugstore one because everything i've seen online is usually high end so there weren't really any options that i could find easily and the only one that came up was the elf halo glow setting powder and i know a lot of people like this one and they so happen to have a light pink one and I don't think they did when it originally came out So maybe this came out within the last year. It's a very light pink Some of the others that i've seen are a bit brighter and darker. So i'm really just focusing this under the eyes I keep humming her songs. I wish I could listen to them while I talk <laughs> For the rest of my face, I'm just going to go in with my regular loose setting powder, also by e.l.f., but it's the HD one. This one's my personal favorite that I use all the time. I always need to have it. It's my go-to. Should I do a Sabrina Carpenter lookbook or some sort of styling video? I feel like that would be a lot of fun. I just don't know how many people would be interested in that. You guys let me know. I haven't done a fashion video in a minute, but I think that would be a lot of fun. I just don't want it to feel too costumey. Like, I want the essence of Sabrina Carpenter, where I feel like I could wear those pieces out and about, but it doesn't feel like I'm dressing up for Halloween, you know? I felt like my cheeks needed something more to it, something more luminous. So I'm bringing back an oldie but a goodie. I think I still have one of these in my collection, but I ended up getting one that's, you know, pinky. But this is the Milani Baked Powder Blush. Do you guys remember this? I went through this. I think the most popular one was Luminoso. That blush, I completely went through. I usually don't hit pan, but that one I did. This one is in Dulce Pink. With this blush, I don't think you need a highlighter for your cheeks. I know some people are using highlighters, but I don't think it's necessary. I'm like not used to having my blush so close under my eyes and also just bringing it in closer. Her brows are quite fluffy and thick and dark. I think you should just go in with whatever you usually do for your brows. I think the most important part is you just want them to look fluffy. You're not really gonna see mine too much, maybe towards the front, but I just went in with the NYX The Brow Glue, the tinted one. And just to fill them out even more, I'm just going in with the Ulta Beauty Collection Ultra Brow pencil. She has a light brown in the crease just to add some definition to your eyes. So the palette that I'm going in with today is the Physicians Formula Better Believe It, but they're because there's two of them. The one that has shimmer and mattes, I'm just going to go in this one right here. You really just need like a lighter brown. And then we add that same color to my lower lash line. Then she has a champagne color going over the eyelid right here. I'm going to use the NYX Ultimate Glow Shots. This one is in Golden Goji. I was trying out a few different ones. But I think I'm going to do this one, but I'm not going to go directly from the applicator. I'm actually going to go and use a brush. These bangs are making me hot. I don't realize until you're wearing them for about an hour i'm going to tight line with another nyx product i know she's a she's either an ambassador or she's just been promoting nyx more which is why i'll be going in with another nyx product uh like a, a lip oil later 
but this one is the Epic Wear Eyeliner Stick. I'm trying out other black liners. I want to see what else is out there. Because I have a favorite, but I want to see if there are ones that are just as good. I'm going to do a small wing using the same liner. You can also use liquid as well if you prefer that. Depending if you want something a little stronger or subtle. It just depends on what you're going for. But I'm going to do that off camera, so I'll be right back. First, I went in with that pencil liner to tighten it. And also, I created a wing. But then I just wanted it to be a little bit darker. So I went in with the liquid liner. This one is from Physician Formula. This is the butter eyeliner. I was able to create a really small wing. I've been testing out a couple of products. This one is the Etude Dr. Mascara Fixer. So it's a mascara primer. If you have long full lashes, you don't need this. But I've been testing out this drugstore mascara and I'm curious to see how it would do with this primer. Since this mascara primer is not white like my other ones, I don't even realize that I'm wearing it or applying it because you really can't tell. This is the new L'Oreal Panorama Voluminous Mascara. I think I have the regular one. Ooh, I think I like this more with that mascara primer. I might not even wear any thick lashes. It actually gives that dull like effect because it's clumping my lashes together. Before I add mascara to my lower lashes, I am going to go in with a liner to make my eyes appear a bit bigger. I can't remember the last time I did this. Again, see how subtle it is? This might be the smallest mascara wand that I've ever used. Also, the prettiest pack Packaging. It has a little mirror. The brand is AGAG. -A -G. I'm not too familiar. It's an Asian brand, but look how tiny this brush is. Teeny tiny. Mine's a little bit bent. I don't know what happened, but when I got it, it was curved and then I tried to fix it in the bottle. So I didn't want to touch it and make a mess. I'm just gonna add a little bit to the lower lashes. If I'm ever applying lower lash mascara, which is never, this is what I need to use. Surprisingly, my lower lashes are quite long. You would never know unless they put mascara on. The lower mascara is just so different for me and it gives my eyes such a different look to them that I'm just not used to it. I'm gonna highlight the nose. She loves an inner corner highlight. I stopped doing that for quite some time, but I've been seeing it more often. She really likes to emphasize that inner corner. I think my blush is giving so much luminosity that's not necessary. I'm gonna try this lip combo and see how it looks. I might have to make some adjustments. I don't know if this is too dark. This is the NYX Slide On Glide On Lip Liner in Urban Cafe. I'm just looking for a warm brown. And you know what else I'm going to do different? Instead of following my natural lips, where it goes down, like right here. I'm gonna go straight across because that's what she does. I've said in the past, I don't like that look on me and I really don't, but for this video, we're gonna try it. I think this lip oil has enough pigment where I don't need to put anything towards the center of my lips. This is the NYX Fat Oil Lip Trip in Follow Back. So she used this and a darker one in one of her TikTok videos. I've only tried this once. Oh yeah, this is gonna be pigmented enough. Even though I've only used this lip oil a couple of times and it's been out for a bit, you know what's so annoying about it? I don't know if anyone else has this, but this, it's so hard to get out. I have to make sure I have a good grip of it or it's just gonna fly out of my fingers. It's just gonna powder right here with whatever I have, just cause it's looking a little too glowy for me, but I think it's just me and I'm just not used to this. Just like right there. What do you guys think? Please don't laugh. I do look silly because I'm just not used to this and you're probably not used to this look on me with the bangs, the lips, everything. The bangs are bothering me just a little bit because I usually have them a bit further, but I wanted them to cover my brows a bit more like hers. But what a fun look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm definitely going to bring the bangs back, but I'm going to wear them how I wore them in my uh, New Year's Eve video. I did a couple like short form videos with them. You might have seen them on my Instagram or on here on YouTube if you watch shorts. If you enjoyed the Asian version of Sabrina Carpenter and using all drugstore makeup today, make sure to like this video, subscribe, to this channel for my fashion and beauty content and let me know down below and i'm being serious guys do you want to see a sabrina carpenter kind of like style video lookbook something that's wearable please let me know down below because if you want to see it i will do it i have some pieces that are very much her but i would need to think about it more so if you want to see that let me know until then i will see you in another video bye